Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. I hope you will learn something from this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Good day. So ang gagawin naman natin is pag-uusapan or mag-review tayo about some MTOP questions for grade 8. So I prepared 5 questions na maintindihan nyo or makakarelate kayo na makakatulong sa inyo for the upcoming elimination round of the MMC 2020. So I have here item number 5 actually from 2016 MMC elimination round. Sabi dito, if x plus y is equal to 12 and y and x y is equal to 50, what is x squared plus y raised to? So as you can see, hindi natin hindi pa natin siya pwedeng evaluate because the question here is to evaluate or find the value of x squared plus y squared. At ang meron lang tayo ay ito at ito, in which wala siya dyan. Pero, kung mapansin nyo, or kung maalala nyo, we have this kind of identity, which is x plus y squared is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. As you can see, itong pinapa problem natin ay nandito mismo. So, we can manipulate the given identity and eventually to find the value of this one. So, lagay muna natin yung mga values natin. You have x plus y b equal to 12 and then your xy is equal to 50. So, continue lang natin gamitin to. You have your x plus y squared minus 2xy which is transpose natin to. And then on the right side of the equation, you have x squared plus y squared. And then, mapapansin nyo, this thing ay ito na, and this thing ay yung 50. So, we can substitute the value of 12 and 50 to the given equation. You have here 12 squared minus 2 times 50 be equal to x squared plus y squared. Yeah. So, simplify natin that this is 144 minus 100 is equal to x squared plus y squared. And therefore, the value of x squared plus y squared is simply 44. This is the answer for item number 1 or item number 5 of MMC 2016 elimination round, 44. So, item number 2 is item number 13 for MMC 2016 elimination round. Sabi dito, what is the last digit of 7 raised to 2016? So, common yan every time na magbabago, magbabago ang taon. So, we have last digit of 7 raised to 2016. Ay, we can solve this using modulo. Pero, pwede rin naman natin gamitin yung concept of cyclicity kasi medyo mahirap yung modulo. So, observe lang natin. Yung sinasabi ng cyclicity ay may pattern tayo susundin. So, let's try 7 raised to 1. The value is 7. And then, yung ating 7 raised to 2 ay equal kay 49. Ah, so, nito ba tayo? At yung atin namang 7 raised to 3 ay equal kay 343. At yung value ng 7 raised to 4, when you simplify it, the answer is 2,401. Tama ba ako? And then, yung ating 7 raised to 5 is equal to 16,807. So, pag pinagtuloy-tuloy natin yan, kang 7 raised to n, kung hapansin nyo, yung last digit ay meron ng pattern. Ang pattern natin, from 7 raised to 1 is 7, 9, 3, 
7, and so on. Kung kapansin nyo, pagdating sa fourth power, yung ating last digit ay 4, ay 1. Ngayon, yung ating, pag pinagtuloy-tuloy nyo yan, ito rin din lalabas dyan. Ang next natin dito ay 9, 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1. Pare-press din na lalabas. And since yung ating 2016 is divisible by 4, therefore, the last digit of 7 raised to 2016 is just 1. Ito po yung tamang sagot. Diba? Mukha lang siya mahirap. Pero napakadali ng problem. Kapag ginamitan natin ng simplicity. So let's proceed with item number 3. For item number 3, this is actually number 17 from MMC 2016 Elimination Round. So kulan tayo na dito ng letter D. Ayun natin. So solve for x if you have this equation. 4 times 1 minus 3x minus 2x times 1 minus 3x plus 5 times 1 minus 3x plus 5 times 1 minus 3x plus 3x times 1 minus 3x is equal to 0. In this kind of problem, approach and analysis ang kailangan. Kasi sa unang tingin, you will think na napakahirap ng problem. Pero hindi. Kasi kung mapansin niyo may pattern, common dito yung ating 1 plus 1 minus 3x sa bawat terms na meron tayo. If 1 minus 3x is common to all the terms na meron tayo sa ating, sa ating equation, therefore, you can factor out 1 minus 3x. Tama? And then, the other factor will be 4 minus 2x plus 5 plus 5 plus 3x is equal to 0. Pinactor out natin yung 1 minus 3x because it is common. And then, all you need to do is to simplify this part of the equation. You have 1 minus 3x times um, x plus 14 be equal to 0. And then you have the parentheses Pero wag nyo siyang i-multiply. Kung kapansin nyo, you are asked for the value of x. Ang gawin nyo na lang is to solve for x like this one. 1 minus 3x be equal to 0. And the other equation is x plus 14 be equal to 0. So we have here 3x is equal to 1 divided by 3. Your x is equal to 1 third. And then... This one is x is equal to negative 14. Therefore, the values of x are 1 third comma negative 14. This is the answer. So, ganun lang. Approach lang kailangan dyan. Let's go with item number 4. For item number 4, this one is quite difficult for grade 8. Sabi dito, if the sum of the reciprocals of the roots of the equation... 3x squared plus 7x plus k is negative 7 over 3. What is k? Sabi dyan, sum of the reciprocals. Gawin natin, we need to represent, we need to use, uh, we're going to use some variables like r and s as the roots of the equation. Ngayon, sabi dyan sum of the reciprocals. So, we can have this kind of expression 1 over R plus 1 over S. Right? And then, you will have this kind of like R plus S over RS. Pag sinimplify natin yan, dali, 
this reciprocal is equal to R plus S all over RS. And then, ang gagawin lang natin, you need to find the value of RS, RS and R plus S. This one can be found using the formula negative C over A. And then the other one is negative B over A. That's it.